we've got all new Ultimate Brain on at 9 o'clock. And did you know, in Australia, today is actually National Bookshop Day, which reminds me we've got CBBC Book Club on tonight at 6pm. Sounds exciting, Cocker, but it's not as exciting as Fantastic Hacker Weekend on the iPlayer. Oh, yes! Two days of hacker nonsense on the CBBC iPlayer. I love hacker. Well, you guys enjoy this. Good morning, get excited because Match of the Day Kickabout is up next. Ambo, I've been thinking. Oh, careful, hope that doesn't hurt you. I was wondering whether you could squeeze a hippo's foot into a roller skate, but then I decided that was both dangerous and pointless. So then I started thinking, I don't feel like I know you all that well, Ambo. Ambo Lobo, it's time to get to know Bo Ambo Lobo. Oh, cool, so what do you want to know? I don't know. Bo. I hadn't really got past just putting bow on the end of every word. How about bow. we start with my likes then? I like sunshine. <laughs> I like sunshine! Oh, no way. Okay, well, I love smoothies. I love smoothies! I love listening to the sound of rain falling on window panes. I love the sound of rain falling on window panes! Oh, Ambo Lobo, this is the best convo! Conversation. I've ever had in my whole life! Mother, I've made a new friend. Cancel the meat-based sandwiches. I shan't be home tonight. Oh, that's so gross. You don't actually eat that meat-paste stuff, do you? Say what? The, the meat-paste stuff. I thought that was just a joke. It sounds disgusting. Mother, cancel that. I'm coming home after all. And layer up that paste. Good to do. Here's much of the day kickabout. And thanks to you, Ambo, I no longer love the sound of rain falling on window panes. Thanks, Ambo Lobo. Thanks, Vobo Macho. Very much. Get excited. Up next, we have How to Be Epic at Everything, then the Daredevil, and at nine, we have all new Ultimate Brain. You know, I've prepared something very special to celebrate new Ultimate Brain. Oh, no. Is this your crazy word pun thing? Okay, wait, I've got it. Is it Ultimate Pain? No. Ultimate Spain? No. Ultimate Woman Called Jane? No. I've just prepared a little guide to today's episode. Here we go. Um, in today's Ultimate Brain, a team from Danny's Castle take on Dr. Brain's crazy challenges and the guinea pig takes part in the Ultimate Guinea Pig Grand Prix. No way! That sounds like the best episode of Ultimate Brain ever! Will you calm down, please? You'll wake the neighbour. We don't even have a neighbour. Yes, we do. Luke! Hello, I'm Ultimate Woman called Jane and I resent being woken at this Ah, Good day to you! Hair in a mouth. I'm so sorry. Here's how to be epic at everything. Where do you reckon she went? Ultimate Spain, probably. <laughs> Summer sizzle every day from seven here on CBBC. Hello, get excited because there's just under an hour to all new Ultimate Brain, but coming up next we've got the Daredevil. Oh, I love the Daredevil. I love their use of clever team names. Oh, well, you're going to love this then. In today's episode, there's a team from Wales and they've got a really clever name. Oh, let me guess, let me guess, let me guess. Are they called the Welsh? Really? No. The Welsh team! No! Team Welsh team! Okay, stop. Let me give you a clue. It's got something to do with what Wales is famous for. Got, yeah. Okay. Scotch pancakes. No! French bread! No! Mexican jumping beans! Second clue, it's got something to do. It sounds a little bit like daffodils. That's why I just said Mexican jumping beans. No, it's daffo devils. Daffo devils, because Wales is famous for daffodils and they're on the daredevil. It's really clever. I don't get it. What's a daffodil? Never mind, here's the daredevil. They should have called themselves the Dare Welsh from Wales. Welsh, Welsh, Wales. Summer sizzle every day from seven here on CBBC. Hello, my name's Amberly. And my name isn't. And to celebrate the fact we've got all new Ultimate Brain, we're doing this. The great CBBC showdown. There's no business like show business. Oh yes, it's time for the great CBBC debate and today I'll be representing Team Ultimate Brain. And for some reason I shall be representing Hacker Time. That's brand new Hacker Time which starts on Monday at 9am with special guest star Bobby Lockwood. Thanks for asking. Well, it's time to find out who you guys think.
think is better? Will it be Team Ultimate Brain or Team Hacker Time? This one in from Diamond Festive Kangaroo. Hi! They say Ultimate Brain hands down because it's factual and comical, whereas Hacker Time isn't so good because anyone can interview a celebrity. No, they can't! You've seen the show? Well, Crystal Hilarious Magnolia says Hacker Time is epic. Hacker's tiny face is so cute. My favourite part is when a Guardian George comes out. I call him Aki G. Aki G. Well, this one in from Sapphire Giant Duck, and they say I'd probably vote for Ultimate Brain because it's funny. Pa! Hacker Time's funny. And finally, Ginger Frizzy Millipede says I actually put Hacker Time in my diary. I love it so much. Well, you should put it in your diary. It's in the end song. Put it in your diary. It's called Hacker Time. Well, guys, thank you so much for all your comments, but I think we can both agree when I say that the winner is Team Ultimate Brain. No, 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 Hacker Time. You heard the evidence. Ah, uh, Ultimate Brain. Hacker Time. Hacker Time. Ultimate Brain! Yes! Chip go humbly! Let's agree that both shows are as good as each other, although Hacker Time is much better the end. Oh, whatever. Well, here's another reason to love the all-new Ultimate Brain. It's up next. Oh, I love Ultimate Brain. It's so much better than Hacker Time. The time has come to embrace the summer. Summer's coming at you on CBBC! Welcome back! Up next is the Horrible Histories Gory Game Play Along and make sure you get online and download the Gory Games awesome app. That way you can verse all the other contestants and win your own year spheres. Amberly? Yes. Amberly Lobo? Yes. Just checking. Can we pick two more shows against each other in next week's CBBC Showdown? Ooh, I thought you'd never ask. Okay, how about Arthur versus Wizards versus Aliens? But that's three shows. We can't have Arthur versus Wizards versus Aliens. It'd have to be Arthur versus Wizards, or Arthur versus Aliens, or Aliens versus Wizards. Uh, no, it's definitely two shows. It's Arthur and Wizards versus Aliens. Or Arthur versus Arthur, or Versus versus Versus. What are you talking about? I don't know anymore, Cocker. <laughs> I'm not older. Well, we want to know which one you guys think is better. Is it Arthur or is it Wizards versus Aliens? Let us know what you think. Maybe it's Arthur because it has a better theme tune. Or maybe you like Wizards versus Aliens because it's 12 shows. Just get online to the CBBC website, type in Showdown and let us know what you think or email us in cbbc at bbc.co.uk and we'll be reading out some of your views next week. I prefer Arthur because it's got the word versus in it. Of course you do. Here's Horrible History's Gory Game Playlock. Versus. Do you want to find out who the biggest, baddest chicken in America is? Yes! I know you do, so make sure you stay tuned because that's all coming up on All Over the Place, which is next. But first, we have a special guest in the office. Please make welcome Donald Foodface. Oh, don't, 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 don't come too close. I've got athlete's face. Ooh. What's that? Uh, we're doing this. Hmm? Legends on your legend. We've been asking you to turn your feet into your favourite CBBC stars and we've had some awesome photos. Firstly, we've had this one from Ella. Check it out. She's got some green milk bottle lids, a little bit of red, so it's Becky from Strange Hill High. Oh, it's very good that although if I had done it, I'd have used the blue bottle tops. Can I only drink full fat milk? Oh, yes. Of course you do. Well, Put some Ella, pressure on it. Thanks lovely. for that one. You are on the board. We've got this lovely one as well from Estelle and she's drawn Katie and me. And can I just say... Thank you so much, because I've always wanted to be on the That's fantastic, foot. but my concern is the woodworm-infested table. Get down, Estelle! Oh, get off that surface! Get off that surface! And hey, guys, thank you so much. And keep them coming in. Take a photo of your foot and send it into cbbc at bbc.co.uk and you never know, it might be on the TV next Saturday. Listen to this joke. <laughs> hey, Donald, how long is your face? Is it a foot? No. It's quite clearly a lot shorter than a foot, and I'd prefer you to use metric measurements. Uh, let's say ten centimetres. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's... Right. Hey, Donald! How long is your face? Ten centimetres! I uh, did say that. Yeah, I should never have asked him twice. Never mind. Here's All Over the Place USA. Hello! Get excited, because MI High is up next, and then later on we also have our... Here we go again! All the time! Excuse me, sorry. You never stop, do you? Coming up next is this. Later on today is that. 
Bla, 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 bla. Here's Ooglies. Oh, give it a rest, Ambo. Ah, uh, I'm pretty sure it's my job. Besides, who else is going to tell everyone what's coming up next? They can work it out for themselves, can't they? They don't need you going on about it all the live long day. Well, fine. What do you want to do? Just sit here and smile until MI High comes on? It's for the best. Out of interest, what is coming up later? Oh, you know, it's just where you take over the channel for the whole afternoon. Oh. Yeah, you know you do your top ten favourite CBBC shows. Oh. Starts at around five past two to celebrate all new hack time on Monday. Oh. <laughs> but I mean, like you said, don't need to say that because they can find out about that themselves. We may as well just sit here and smile until MI High comes on. Good idea. I'm livid, but I won't let it show. Ah! That's better.